Thousands of travelers, major delays plaguing major metropolitan airports like Boston, Philly, the New York City area, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. In fact, take a look at what it's like in the nation's capital right now. You'll have to trust us. This really is the nation's capital. Heavy snow falling right now. You basically can't see anything. News Channel 8's Jen Holloway joins us now live from Tampa International <laughs> Airport, where I have to imagine with all the cancellations, there are some frustrated travelers. A lot of sleeping travelers as well. They've all, uh, we actually caught some snoring earlier tonight, but there are so many people right now just wishing they could be right where they wanted to be on spring break on one of Florida's beautiful sunny beaches, but they can't. And that's all thanks to winter storm Stella. A true travel nightmare. But everything is backed up, kind of canceling all the flights for tomorrow. Thousands hoping to spend their spring break on our sunny beaches are stuck in the first nor'easter of 2017. A number of governors even declaring states of emergency ahead of this monster storm, leaving much of the Northeast paralyzed. After a treacherous commute this morning in Chicago, the city's first snowstorm since December. One day, you know, it's 50 or 60, and the next day it's in the 20s, it's hard to know. From Iowa to Minnesota, the Midwest all buried. This Wisconsin freeway shut down after several crashes. Roads are terrible, multiple vehicle accidents. The chaos unfolding across the country. More than 4,600 flights already canceled for tomorrow, including almost all flights out of Newark. In Boston, Philadelphia, and New York schools, they're all closed. More than 1,600 snowplows in New York alone are now sitting ready. And 283,000 tons of salt are on hand, ready to go. This should be a, a very serious blizzard, one that everyone should take seriously. Almost 20 million people are under coastal flood warnings tonight and advisories from Delaware to Massachusetts. In the nation's capital, salt trucks are on the move as well. And as of the latest update tonight, the Tampa International Airport's Twitter account, a total of 125 delays, including 50 departures and 75 arrivals and 26 canceled flights. Jen? And those numbers have sort of been changing, climbing throughout the day, haven't they? <laughs> They absolutely have, for sure. We started off with 76 delays earlier this morning. That climbed to 88. Now we're at 125. And gosh, with this storm not going anywhere anytime soon, that's going to cause a lot more delays ahead. So be prepared for those. Check with your airlines. Jen Holloway, live at TIA for us tonight. Thank you, Jen.